creating relative position flat file schemas in BizTalk 2013. What are we doing here? The use case here is very similar to creating a comma or a symbol delineated flat file, only this time instead of something like a comma, we're, we're defining the fields in a, by a set number of characters. So you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. What are you going to need before you start? You're going to have to have BizTalk server installed locally. You're going to have to have the BizTalk dev tools installed, uh, as well as Visual Studio 2012. And here we're using Windows Server 2012. Uh, however, anything that you're going to be using, probably going all the way back to 2006, you'll probably be OK with these instructions, as they're pretty standard, and they have been for a long time. OK. Uh, let's take a look at this flat file. I'm, I'm going to be using Notepad++. If you aren't using something like Notepad++, I would highly recommend that you use it uh, for what I'm about to show you. Uh, with this tool and with most other tools like this, you can you, you do have an option to show symbol. And here it's saying show all characters. So in this file, you'll see it's got our it's got two records and between each record is end of line characters. Can, in this case, a, a control return and a line feed. And with this tool, we can we can see those characters represented here. Um, if you take a look at the data, we've got people's names, and it's a set length for both. We've got address information, again, a set length. We've got a city, state, zip, and a, a choice here. OK, I'm going to go ahead and open up Visual Studio. And I am going to create a new project. You'll see in the install templates a BizTalk project, we're going to create an empty BizTalk server project. If you do not see these as options, then you do not have your dev tools installed correctly. You need to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to call this uh, BizTalk flat file demo. OK. And I already got one in there. It's called demo two. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and add a new folder called schemas. And I'm going to right click here, say add new item. You can easily do the same thing right here. But for kicks, I'm just going to say new item. I'm going to say flat file schema wizard. It's going to take us through and uh, step by step to create our flat file. So I'm going to call this vendor file. tell us that we're about to start the flat file schema wizard okay it's going to ask us for an instance file so i'm going to browse i'm going to browse to the flat file i was showing you before on the desktop first thing to think about here is the namespace this is difficult to change so you normally want to get this right to begin with and in this case it's the name of my solution schemas vendor file that is what i want next thing to think about is the record name i normally i'm going to call the record name this is going to be your root node name, the same as the entity that you are trying to uh, define. And your code page is is 99% of the time is going to be that. So you've got some language requirement. You've got a file in Hebrew or something like that. So I'm going to click Next. Now it's going to, it's going to pull up the actual data out of that file that we were looking at a minute ago and ask us to define a sample record. Notice it's it's actually showing us the end of line characters as well with control return line feed. So I'm going to select all of this first row, including the end of line characters. Click next. Now, even though we're doing a, a relative position file, the repeating record you'll notice is actually defined by delimiter symbol, which again is this end of line character. So we're going to we're going to define that first record by uh, keeping this radio button checked. So I'm going to hit next. It's going to say, hey, what's, what's your, what, what is your delimiter? Here it's represented by control return line feed. There can easily be uh, just a line feed sometimes, space. But uh, in this case, it's control return line feed is the default option. Leave that selected. And I'm going to click next. And it went out and it found that first first entire record, which is what I want. And it is a repeating record. Notice I've got two records here. And I'm going to call it, and go ahead and name the element here. I'm going to call it a, a vendor. 
or let's call it vendors because it can, it's a repeating record. So next, so now it's gonna say, hey, let's define your repeating record. And it's already started generating the, the scheme in the background, you'll see. So here it's asking us for, again, for the sample data, it's got everything selected from before except for our delimiter characters, which is exactly what we want. I'm gonna leave that selected. Click next, this time by relative position. Okay, so in this case, we've got a GUI here that's uh, letting us, it's spelling out each one of the characters in this file. In, the, in, in a real world scenario, hopefully you, you would have some sort of requirements sitting in front of you, a print off or a spreadsheet or something that tells you the name and how many characters for each field, as this is usually a well-defined property. It needs to be if you're, if you're dealing with uh, systems passing messages to each other. So in this case, we've got a first name and a last name. I'm just gonna call that name, chop it off right there. And then we've got the street address right there. We've got a city, state, zip, and a choice. And you'll notice it, it'll tell you exactly here. So when you're looking at your spreadsheet, you know, 58 characters, you can click right there. It's, it's, it makes it easier. All right, next. So now it's gonna go ahead and chop it up. It wants, it wants to know which each one of these elements are. So I'm gonna go ahead and name each element for my schema here. Address, got a city, got state, so zip, it's a fun part of the, the process, and we've got a choice. And uh, you can go ahead and define your data types if you'd like. I, I normally keep these all as strings right now and, and worry about typing later on. Okay, next. It's giving us a summary of which what we've already done. Okay, finish. And we've got our flat file schema defined right here. Um, how do we know this is going to work? Well, uh, built into BizTalk, there are tools, or Visual Studio rather, there are tools to test your, your schema so you know you've got it right. So what you want to do is right click the properties. It's going to bring up your property schema or uh, property view if you don't have it up already. One of the options here is input instance file name. It's already filled out, you'll notice, because we went through the wizard, it, it knows what our sample file is. You can always click the ellipse and select it manually if you want. Um, and in order to, to test this, all you really have to do is right click this and say validate instance, and it will attempt to create an instance of uh, this, of the um, XML based on the schema that we just created. So I'm gonna click that. And uh, you'll notice in the output, it tells you that it succeeded. It tells you what the input file was and what the output file is here. You just have to control click to get this, this to show up. And, and here we have it. We've got our vendor file with the namespace that we had defined before. We've got our first record with all that data. We have our second record with all the data we needed in there. And, and it's ready to be consumed by BizTalk. All right, where are you going to use this flat file schema? Uh, ideally, or normally, you're going to be using this in a, uh, a receive pipeline or a send pipeline, and you are going to be using it during the flat file disassemble or assembler stage, uh, which I am going to produce another video that will show you how to do that. All right, well, uh, that's it. I hope you learned something and enjoyed that. Don't forget to visit my website, Alathia development.com or um, uh, check me out on Twitter. It's Alathia Dev um, or look me up on Facebook. Thanks for listening. Bye.